Hello. Uh, so I'm joined here today by Ujwal Sharma, um, who is uh, one of the, the co-chairs of TC39 uh, and has given a talk here today uh, on uh, how TC39 uh, works uh, for the audience here at Future Frontend. Um, Ujwal, would you like to in, in introduce yourself and say a few more things about what you do? Sure. Hi, uh, and hello everyone. Uh, I'm Ujwal. I work on TC39, on JavaScript standards and web standards in general. Uh, I work at Egalia, which is a fun open source consultancy, and we're based out of A Coruña in Spain, which is a fun city. I'd recommend you to check them out. Uh, and yeah, uh, I, I love JavaScript, and I'm so excited to meet all the people here in Helsinki. That's, that's great. Um, so you said you work for, for Egalia. Um, that may be a name that our audience uh, are not too familiar with. Uh, could you say, say a bit more about what Egalia does? Yes. So, yeah, Egalia is a pretty uh, niche uh, organization. Uh, I, I guess I can say that. Uh, there's around over 150 of us at the moment. We are all over the world. And what Egalia does is we specialize working on Op, like core open source technologies, sometimes very low level open source technologies. So this can be all over the stack. I mean, we, on the one hand, we're working with Valve to build like graphics drivers and Vulkan specifications. And on the other hand, we are also building JavaScript uh, engines and sort of standardizing that. So there's a lot of diverse things that various individuals in Egalia do. Uh, and the thing that sort of binds us together is our love and respect for each other and for open source. And yeah. Um, that, that's awesome. Uh, and uh, uh, um, obviously you're here for the, or you've been here for the TC39 uh, meeting this week. Uh, would you like to tell us about the highlights of, uh, of that meeting and about what kind of things may have advanced? So this was, uh, I mean, one of the better TC39 meetings that I've had in all ways, but also in terms of technical stuff. Uh, but yeah, we advanced some pretty important things. I think one that I was quite excited about was import differ, which uh, as you know, uh, a, a pretty significant proposal, in my opinion, in that it has opened our our minds and our hearts in some way to uh, you know being more clever with modules. I think uh, ES modules have been one of the more uh, complex things that we have done in the past. We still have the responsibility of making sure that it gets to the end users who might not still be shipping ES modules at the moment at least. And yeah, I mean, we tend to be conservative with features, but over the next sort of uh, years, I believe people will see ES modules gain some pretty interesting use cases and uh, yeah, gain power and functionality that would make the, their use more practical. Okay, that's great. And um, uh, in addition to your talk here today, uh, you also joined the panel. Uh, uh, how did you find the questions from the audience uh, here in Helsinki? Yeah, the, the questions from the audience were, were quite nice and sort of, uh, it, it was great to have that particular arrangement where we had the intro talk and then we had two like, pretty significant like hardcore deep dive talks into specific areas and then we had the panel so we really set up the stage quite well and and it really showed in the questions like many of the questions were directly inspired by the content of the talks and yeah i'm, I'm really impressed by the sort of um practicality of all the questions uh, and it was quite nice uh, great and um, and just thinking about the, the future front end con conference overall, um, uh, how would how would you describe the the vibe here today? I, I think yeah, I was just discussing this earlier with uh, one of our friends who happens to be an organizer, uh, which is that it's it's one of the most innovative events in in many ways that I've seen. I think uh, JavaScript and and web technologies in general have grown to the extent where we're not only like in the business of building technologies and building modules and so on like you know writing code but literally charting out the future so we talked about temporal for example where we did pretty futurey things so it's, it's very exciting to see that like not only is this 
uh, conference uh, very deeply invested in the web, but the future of the web and how our work ties into that, how others work ties into that, it's, it's quite interesting and refreshing. I think this is not something that I've seen elsewhere. So yeah, I really enjoy this conference. All right. Um, well, thank you, Ajwal. And thank you, Al.